evening, everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. To those of you across the land and across the pond, I am, of course, Leo Brown, here again with another edition of Car of the Day for Wednesday, February the 1st. I cannot believe that we are already in the month of February. I'm going to move, there we go, move it around, there we go. That way the lighting is better. Um, first of all, before I begin, excuse me, before I begin, thank you guys so much for watching, for commenting, and for subscribing to the channel. It means a great deal. It really motivates me. It inspires me, and it keeps me going, and it lets YouTube know that you guys like my work. So if you can, please rate. Or, well, yeah, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment, subscribe, all that good jazzy jazz. That really helps. So with that being said, let's get into today's card of the day for Wednesday, February the 1st, 2023. I hope you guys had a great hump day thus far. We are in the middle of the week. We're almost done. We are almost to the weekend. I know you guys are like itching in your boots because um, I know that um, Miss Queen B herself, her concert tickets are not on sale yet, but I know she's going on tour. So I know all you guys are looking into that, you know, so we'll see. But anyway... Let's get into today's card of the day. And if you would like a reading outside of this medium, this modality, I am a psychic medium and a life coach. You can log on to my website, which is psychicleo.com. That's psychicleo.com. Or if you're not quite ready for a reading or a coaching session just yet, you can just follow me on various social media platforms. Okay. All the information is down in the description below. So let's get into today's card of the day. All right. Okay, so something to stop. All right. So today's card of the day is the Empress. All right, the Empress. So the Empress deals with the number three. Uh, when you think of the Empress, you think of mother, maiden, crone. Uh, for those in Christian traditions, father, son, Holy Spirit. For those who are more you represent the divine masculine in your work in your in your um uh, spirituality uh it could be king sage fool or fool king sage you know what i mean um so the empress is all about fertility and it makes sense because we're coming up tomorrow actually um is candlemas we are in the middle the beginning of imbolc or candlemas or or the feast of saint bridget for those of us who follow, uh, for those of you who follow or celebrate Catholic traditions or Groundhog Day, you know. Um, and what that basically means is that now the stirrings of spring are about to take shape. Now things are starting to warm up. It may not be warm outside, but that's basically what it means. Um, and the Empress is represented in this deck. She's represented by the mother of Demeter, uh, Demeter. Um, she also could be if you think about it from an African tradition, she could be Yemaya, Yemoja, mother of all, mother of all living things. So as you can see, the Empress is very happy. She's very content in her uh, own place, her own area. She is, you know, she's, she's very, very, things are growing. Things are manifesting. Uh, think she's getting ready. You know what I mean? Because actually in this, she's pregnant. So it means that things are manifesting. Things are are uh, taking shape. Uh, and if you think about nature itself, that's basically what's going on now. Nature itself is getting ready to go into the spring. So, you know, we're about to take shape. We're about to give birth. So the mother is about to give birth to her daughter, her son, uh, things of that nature. So, and in, and in, and in the, the myth of Demeter is more so where she's actually waiting for her daughter Persephone to come back. She's waiting on Persephone to come back because if you know anything about the myth of Demeter and uh, Persephone, Persephone is now in the underworld. She's with Hades. And that's actually represented by the High Priestess card. So right now, she's waiting on her daughter to come back. So right now, she's very content. But also, during this time of year, uh, is when, you know, she's in mourning too, you know. So the Empress is all about fertility, growth. Uh, new birth, new ideas, creativity, womanliness, you know. Um, so if you've been kind of thinking about what you want to manifest for the year, um, things that you want to have into your life, things you want to bring to you, uh, if you've been really embracing your feminine mystique, 
you know, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, or, you know, non-binary, it doesn't matter. But if you've been embracing your feminine, your divine feminine, your divine femininity, this may have something to do with it. The emperors may be playing a role in your life. So this is today's card of the day for February the 1st, 2023. I'm, of course, Leo Brown, and I thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, my sugar bears, I say to you, be learnable, be teachable, love yourself, but most of all, be you. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you soon. All right? Bye-bye.